so climate change uh, has uh, numerous causes. And uh, so every scientist or uh, you know, research uh, concept cannot address all the causes of climate change. And so in my research, what I do is, because I'm very urban-centric, very city-centric research, so I mostly look at greenhouse gases, emission of greenhouse gases, how much heat is generated in cities, quantifying them, trying to see which part of the city has more uh, of the you know, increased heat as against the other parts. What are the reasons behind it? So the research already has shown that green parks and uh, you know, the buildings and areas around water bodies, like lakes, uh, they generally are, have a much more lower temperature than the areas downtown or in the central bus business district area where just mostly 80%, 90% concrete, those are very, very hot as compared to the areas which are much more forested, more green parks, more water bodies, as I was mentioning earlier on. So that is what my research comes up to. Now, um, so it's very important to understand that uh, you know, trying to see if what, what these numbers are, the data collected, because one important thing is that there are different levels of research, I would say. So it's a two-way process. So first is we do talk about climate change and global warming. And then we talk about my research mostly is on the surface, which is just on the city scale, which we call uh, in scientific terms as mesoscale or smaller scale more non-scientific term is smaller scale, the size of a city. So they are always talking to each other. And as I'm moving my hand, what I'm trying to say is, so city is small, and then it talks to the bigger global picture. And again, the global picture, the global warming and the climate change, which is happening all around the world, also impacts the cities. So it's a two-way process. So as we are better at uh, quantifying, better at getting the numbers and trying to understand what's happening at the city scale, we can translate that way more into what, how much of that could feed into the global warming concept. So uh, my research, as I said earlier on, is more um, uh, micro scale, more smaller scale, but trying to understand what's happening there because millions of people live in cities. And as millions of people live in cities, very important to understand what kind of activities they're doing and how they generate or add to climate change global concepts. So that is where um, my research uh, contributes to overall global climate change.